Bob, one of the most interesting parts of that news conference was when Fed Chair Powell said not tightening enough raises the risk that inflation gets entrenched. Tightening too much, we have the ability to support the economy. In other words, the risk is that we don't do enough. So really don't get too excited here that we're slowing down. What was your take? Um, I'm not surprised. I think, uh, Sarah, Fed rhetoric has become a key Fed policy tool. Um, uh, I think that we both know that the Fed moved, uh, took way too long to move. And I think for Chairman Powell to kind of ease off before he's totally convinced, uh, particularly in terms of his, um, you know, the questions and the statements, uh, I wouldn't expect. You mean to go with smaller hikes? Because he did open the door for December to go smaller. Listen, our view on this um, is consistent with what you're saying, which is we've now got to four to four and a quarter. Uh, sorry, three and three quarters to four um, is kind of their range. We think at the next meeting this year, 50 basis points or 75 basis points, maybe 75 then, maybe 50 and 25. But somewhere around there in that four and a half range, we think the Fed will pause. But we don't think that can be a signal from the chairman. So we're not surprised he's not signaling. Well, and the other thing he raised is that the question might not be what is the size of the next rate hike. It's how long they will be hiking rates until what level and how long they will stay at this restrictive policy level. Are, are, those, are those questions the market's been focused on? It feels like the only question now is are they going to pivot? And what does pivot even mean? Listen, I think, you know, I think the Fed does look at the market reaction. I think that immediate slight move up in terms of equities and a little bit lower in terms of yields reversed itself after the Q&A &E or Q&A. You know, both of those things were reasonably small. So I think they'd be reasonably pleased um, that, that it's kind of landing where they want. They want to keep their options open to continue to raise rates. But our view inside, Larry Cantor and myself in Atlas Merchant Capital, is that inflation has peaked, but the economy has not bottomed. So we have a tough year ahead in terms of, you know, continued correction in the economy. But we do believe inflation has peaked. But just because of its peak does not mean it's <clears throat> come down. Correct. Certainly not even close to the 2 percent level. <clears throat> so what does that mean in terms of what the Fed will have to do? So one of the things that we look at closely is intermediate prices, prices before final goods. And if you'll recall, in the fall of 2021, it had a 40 percent year over year increase. And that's when people said, my goodness, inflation is, is rampant. Um, and I think that to us is a very key indicator that intermediate prices, which are a leading indicator of final prices for goods, um, is trending down. So we think inflation has peaked. We do believe there's another 50 to 75 basis points in December. Um, but we think the Fed very possibly could let that stay for a while uh, and watch continued economic development.